today, first of all, we are going to start by building a clear base. Um, we are going to sculpt it. Now, I am using Ultimate Simple Clarity from Incandescent Shine, which is fast setting. So I have literally to start with created that joining and I am patting and pressing it down, which will keep all of the acrylic nicely together and nice and firm. I am just making sure that is nicely squeezed in at the back. Then I'm going to go ahead and lay my clear base all the way up to that cuticle area. And I'm gonna pat and press that nice and flush. Now we want to make sure as I am turning, I am checking that we are going all the way into the wings. Now I'm going to move on and I'm going to do some colour blocking. So I am using Glistening Waters and Firefly and the car that I'm using is Smashed Peach because I wanted it glittery to match the rest of it. So I'm going to, when I am doing my colour blocking, I am going to make sure that the edge that is touching the next colour is nice and big and thick. Now the reason I want to do this is so that when I file down to create my full shape, when I am funny, fully finished, it's going to be nice and thick so that each part will file flush against each other without any shading and any shadowing. So I will always place my bead after up at the cuticle area because once I've got the other bit right where I want it, it will just stay put. Now, because I am doing a curved line, I am making sure that is exactly where I want it with my brush. Now you have lots of time to work with your acrylic you do not have to rush it so you can pat and press it lots and lots so i'm coming in with firefly and i am just creating that rough shape now i'm going in because this can go all the way around and up in that corner i am not worried if i go on top of the the smashed peach because i know that that line is nice and sharp and smooth so I am building that nice and tall so that I can push that blue up to it. Patting it so it's nice and straight. So that line is nice and neat. Now, obviously, if you were doing these in straight lines, you could, of course, go in and file it. But I like to work as if I don't have a file. So I do all my hard work with my brush. So now that I've placed that, I'm going to go in with my glistening waters. And because that line is nice and crisp, I can press that blue up to it. And it's going to give me that nice definition that I want. Now, I do honestly always work super thicker when I am doing colour blocking. I always work deeper than I want and I build up so that when I file back, I know it's there. So that is now fully set up and I have taken my sculpting form off. And I am coming in with my Envy Nails file and I am doing them side walls and the lower arches first. So that is always where I go with my filing. I always do my side walls and my lower arches. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my cuticle area. And because this has got a little bit of length to it, I am supporting that nail bed while I'm filing. I know it is a training finger, but it is good practice for your real clients because they don't want to be jiggled around. They need to be supported too. So I am just checking that barrel to make sure everything is nice and symmetrical. And I'm just making sure that it's all nice and smooth. Thank you. 
when you're looking down the barrel of your nail, it makes it useful to do so because then you can see if there's any unsymmetrical aspects of your nail. I could not put my tongue in then. So I was just swapping to a softer file and this will remove any of the bigger, sharper scratches. And I am just doing that free edge to make sure. But like with my client, I would turn their hand to do it. I have turned the training finger. Just getting rid of that dust before we go in and top coat. Because we don't want any of the beautiful top coat getting dusty. Which I ended up doing in the next video I think potential I don't know so I hope you have found this helpful there is a step-by-step -step photo that I will have published um, so if you want any more step-by-steps or any more help please let me know